Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So finally, Unbind tokens are now live. It will give us the ability to unbind items that are in our inventory. If we go and right click on this Lionheart Hammer, you can see to unbind it, it will cost us 70 unbind tokens. This is a legendary main hand weapon. Now, you can also see if you go and look, let's say I have my Celestial equipped, you can right click on it and while it's equipped, no, you cannot unbind it. But if I go and unequip the main hand there, right click on it here and you can also see it will cost you 80 for the Celestial, meaning it'll be more expensive depending on how much item level it has. At least that's what I'm guessing. Now we can look at like the Watcher weapons and no, it doesn't seem you can unbind those. And the same goes for, let's say, the Mastered weapons from the Stronghold. So it seems the only weapons right now we can unbind are the Celestial and the Lionheart. Not sure why those seem to be the only ones, but let me know if there's any more and they can potentially add more in the future. We can also unbind, you can see a whole bunch of these different artifacts. You right click on each of them, we can unbind them. An artifact will cost you 50 on that mythic rarity. Any lower rarity and it will cost you less. Like this legendary one will only cost me 40. Same with this legendary one. And then you'll be able to go and sell them on the auction house. Now with that, these unbind tokens are now live, meaning we can actually have a chance to earn them. And we can see that with this blog post here. They will now drop as premium rewards from your dungeon chests. What are these premium rewards? Well, a while back they added these to dungeon chests to make it more appealing to actually be farming dungeons. We could get our companion upgrade tokens, mount upgrade tokens, so on and so forth, all the way to even legendary account wide mounts at a very low chance. I, I haven't even gotten one yet. So that is decent news, right? But that's gonna throw around the market a lot. Buying Celestial weapons and Lionheart weapons, in my opinion, is not very great. However, sure, I can go and spend a bunch of those tokens on the weapons that I've saved up from these trials. Personally, I don't really mind. Being able to get these unbind tokens for free, that's great very good option there rather than being only limited to the zen market which they will come in the near future now this is only for pc sadly that we can get these unbind tokens from all these dungeons for consoles that will come next week most likely with the introduction of them to the zen market as well right now i guess they're just seeing what how it goes if you manage to get these make sure to let me know in the comments below i'll also do some dungeon grinding for a little bit it seems we can only unbind our line heart or celestial weapons or any of our artifacts along with some coal wards and even these preservation wards costing you one unbind token for one pres ward for those coalescent wards i believe it was 80 of the tokens per ward so if you got one from those celestial coffers then you can potentially unbind them but in my opinion it's not really worth it. you may as well just upgrade something with that ward and then you have effectively used a free ward I assume they're going to have a similar drop chance to what you, we see from trade bars. With that said, hopefully this was somewhat insightful. Another major thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.